What's happening, my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life Vlog, where I'll be sharing every meal I eat for the day, footage from my training, as well as my overall active lifestyle. I've got a very raw and real discussion coming at you that I hope you'll participate in. Let's get to it. Woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, which has been my typical wake up time ever since the clocks fell back with daylight savings time. I think there was one morning where I woke up at 4.40 a.m. Just ready to go, ready to get my day started, and my mornings have been incredibly productive. I'm absolutely loving it. And right now, it is 6.30 a.m. I'm about to have my breakfast shake, one cup of homemade kefir, one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, tablespoon of black maca powder, a scoop of protein powder, an ass load of spinach, and a banana. Now, typically, I eat this after our walk and after a few hours of being awake um, but I'm trying something a little bit different I'm gonna have my shake before we get out for our walk I just I've noticed that I've been feeling a little bit hungrier earlier in the morning and um, I know there's some research that shows like having your breakfast earlier like shortly after waking is more muscle sparing so uh, we really want to make sure that I'm getting the anabolic juices flowing earlier in the morning, so I may push this even earlier into my morning. I do have my two cups of coffee with a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk uh, as soon as I wake up, but uh, getting some good quality fuel in me earlier in the morning, I think is going to pay big dividends. Uh, well, I don't know about big dividends, but I think it's going to be beneficial. Along with this, I'm gonna have 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3, 300 milligrams of magnesium, and three capsules of fish oil uh, with, with a combined EPA DHA of 2.7 grams. Uh, gonna finish this and then Chief and I are going to go for a morning walk. The sun has been rising earlier because of the fall back in time uh, right around 7 a.m. so we should catch that sun rising up. It's looking like it's going to be a pretty clear morning so looking forward to getting out there. Temperature is starting to drop so uh, it's been a gorgeous week. We've been in the 70s breaking records here in southern Ontario so um, temperatures dropping getting back to normal but I love all weather. Chiefy Dog and I just got in from our morning walk. I thought I would share some of my morning thoughts while I was out there walking though. For the most part, I was very grounded in the moment and there was there was one moment, I mean, you come in and out of the, that being very present, just listening to the birds, seeing all the animals, all the wildlife around you, just noticing that all the leaves blew off the trees last night, that last little bit of leaves that were hanging on the trees. We had some pretty high winds last night and it pretty took, pretty much took down all of the the leaves that uh, that are out there. So just being aware of all of my surroundings, but coming in and out of that. And one of the thoughts that popped into my mind as I was coming out of the being very present in the moment was uh, just the topic of self-care. Because those walks where I am very, very, very grounded in the moment, just uh, not allowing thoughts to really enter my head, but just being fully immersed in my environment. To me, that is that's one of the huge components of self-care in my life, just uh, letting go of any of the stresses from the day, um, and just it just keeps me in a very an attitude of gratitude and in a, a positive mindset. Um, but yeah, one of the things I mean, it's been a very it's been a crazy year. It's been a hectic year, a year of uncertainty, a year uh, that has been very stressful on a lot of us in many different ways, and some of us have coped with those stresses in. In different ways, some of us have abused our bodies, um, increasing our alcohol intake, maybe partaking in some some drugs, some recreational drugs. Um, some of us have turned to food and, and gained the quarantine 15, as some people have uh, referred to instead of the freshman 15. Um, so it's been it's been kind of a, a form of abuse on our bodies. So you pile that on top of the. The stress from just life, this 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 uncertain times right now, and it adds even more stress onto us. The the stress of alcohol on our body, the stress of drugs on our body, the stress of excess food and excess weight on our body, um, and there's never been a more important time to really make self care a top priority 
in your life. Really, really making sure like self-care, a lot of it is just being kind to yourself, loving yourself, um, just finding ways to, just realizing that you're capable of greatness and during these times of, of challenge and struggle and uncertainty, uh, it's really tough. It can be very tough to see the opportunity in these times, um, but trust me, there, there really are opportunities that can come from this. There is growth that can come from this. I mean, I have been through some, some dark times in my life. I've been through some very down times in my life, much worse than what's going on uh, right now when it came to business and closing down a business and having to claim bankruptcy and uh, facing some depression. Like I've gone through some tough times in my, uh, my life. So I can really, like during those darker times, it's tough to kind of see the light to, um, to love yourself, to, to be kind to yourself. Um, it's very easy just to, to not want to go on, really. Um, so, yeah, just having a, a stronger mind, I, I just really doing everything you can for self-care, whether it's getting out for those walks, again, nutrition, fueling your body with quality nutrition, um, and the right amounts of quality nutrition, enough to sustain your body weight. If you wanna have a gentle surplus, if you're in muscle building mode, that's great, but um, don't punish yourself with food. Don't use food to kind of deal with your emotions and the stresses as a coping mechanism. Uh, be smart with the alcohol intake. Drink it sparingly. I, I enjoy my craft beers. I enjoy my rums, I, uh, whiskeys. Like I, I enjoy that, but I do so in moderation. I probably have maybe two, three drinks a week, four drinks at the most. Um, so I keep that in check, but, um, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna be visiting a naturopath next week as well, doing some acupuncture, uh, doing the self massage, reading my book. My, my nighttime routine has been incredible um, form of self love for me. Getting to bed, quality sleep, is probably the best form of self-love you can give your body, um, give yourself, give your mind. Um, quality sleep, I mean, when you are sleep deprived, that triggers um, mood. Like, uh, it, it can cause depressive um, characteristics. So, uh, making sure that you're getting quality sleep is probably the best thing that you can do for yourself when it comes to self-care. But just really do everything you can to take care of your body, take care of your mind, protect your mind, protect your positivity, protect your optimism. Um, it, it, it can be tough to avoid the news and all that stuff, but um, I guess through all this, just be true to yourself. Use this as an opportunity to look within um, your own personal inner nature. Do more of what brings joy to your life. And it's the simple things that don't cost money. I love getting out for my hikes with my dog. It, it's probably the, the, the favorite things in my life. And just sitting in silence outside in the backyard, listening to the animals, listening to the birds. I enjoy reading my books. I, I enjoy the self massage. Just, it doesn't have to, what brings you joy in life doesn't have to cost money. Um, but yeah, just really, those are my thoughts. I kind of rambled on longer than I was expecting to for this message. Um, but yeah, self care, it just, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, like I said, going, going, having gone through some of those darker times in my life, um, and I see a lot of people going through it right now, and, and I want you to know that I'm here for you. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, share your experiences, share what you're going through. Um, I'm here to listen. I, I may not have answers, um, but I'm definitely here to listen as a friend. Someone, I'm, I'm here for you. I just want you to know that you're not, uh, not alone, and um, I'd love to hear from you. What are you doing to improve as a form of self-care uh, during these these times right now. So me, again, training, walking, fueling my body with quality nutrition, getting adequate sleep, um, reading, just calming down, just doing things that are gonna relieve the stress from my day, um, listening to my meditation audios at night, all that kind of stuff is, is great for self-care for me. So that's my ramble right now, and uh, let's get on with the day and the rest of the meals. Prepping my typical second meal of the day here, I got the steamed veggies there, four large brown free range eggs and some oatmeal in the background there. So two third cup of oats, 140 grams of frozen mixed berries and a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on top. Just got done training a new client, a fun project to be working on. Uh, 
in the near future, you guys are gonna see an incredible transformation going on. They're really looking forward to sharing that footage, looking to share some of the behind the scenes stuff that's going on there. Just super exciting times. I've got about 15, 20 minutes to kill right now between that appointment and uh, hitting the gym. Gonna be uh, getting a killer workout on. So just stopping off at Starbucks here, grabbing a Grande Blonde Americano Miso. Really was hoping to get inside, do a little bit of work there. I got my laptop with me and, uh, but it is at capacity that to kind of cut back how many people they were allowed to have in there so just gonna do a little bit of work here in my car then head over to the gym get some killer workout footage coming at you that was one of the best workouts I have had in a while and I lied that was not a killer workout it was a low volume restorative workout uh, we're on our second week in the jack after 40 club of a low volume training phase this month and um, absolutely loving it so if you've been following my channel for a while you know that i ramp up volume over the course of three to four months and then pull it back and um really allow the body to fully recover, the fatigue to completely dissipate, and your muscles to resensitize to the stimulus that we're gonna be hitting it with uh, with the next month's training plan and the plans after that. Uh, I do find that a, a low, like a, a deload week is not enough for me. We're in the second week and um, I'm definitely feeling this week, especially the chest and back workout that I'm, I still have a lot of fatigue built up in my body that needs to dissipate here. So um, I love having an entire month dedicated to low volume and stopping short of failure. Um, yeah, I guess you could kind of say kind of going through the motions a little bit and I'm so used to pushing it. Like I freaking love pushing it, but you really got to be smart and know when to pull it back, dial things back. So today's leg workout, it wasn't a killer leg workout. It was uh, starting off with the single leg curl then onto the single leg extension, uh, then some uh, Bulgarian split squats where the final rep of every set you hold the stretch position for as long as you can. Loaded stretching is great for restorative work as well. Great for strengthening the, the tendons of your muscles which is really important for us men over 40. And then on to inner thighs and outer thighs. So really great for kind of working on some of the imbalances, some of the weaknesses within my legs here. Uh, just absolutely felt phenomenal throughout uh, the entire training session today. And really focused, really strong mind-muscle connection. So although I wasn't pushing hard, pushing out reps, I was giving, I was giving a great effort in the sense of my focus, my concentration, and my level of, level of satisfaction with that entire training session. Just, it was absolutely phenomenal. Loved it, hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, that is the gym variation of this month's plan. We have all different kinds of home variations, like four different home variations based on people's equipment, whether they just have dumbbells, whether they just have bands, um, a mix of dumbbells, barbells. Uh, so we got a few different programs in there. Last week you saw me following this exact same plan, but based on my, my dad's home gym there, he didn't have an inner outer thigh machine but uh, yeah absolutely love it and I've been hitting calves every day um, something I'm gonna be working on for the next little bit really want to build those suckers up uh, in the coming months and did a little bit of abs as well on to the next meal post-workout post-workout meal I've been devouring 260 grams of plain Greek yogurt 140 grams of frozen mixed berries and two tablespoons of natural almond butter chief and I just got in from our walk it's a little bit earlier than normal it's just about 4 30 right now typically we like to get out for our walks after dinner but I have a dinner date tonight so by the time I get home it's gonna be about my wind down time so I'm gonna be wanting to read a book at that point calm my mind uh, just relax and get myself ready for a great sleep so there you have it <laughs> i guess uh, i haven't mentioned that in in previous videos if the, any of you have been wondering i am on the dating scene right now i've been dating for about the past three months i've met some great women it's been going really really well i've been really enjoying the process overall i'll share some more details uh in an upcoming video sometime in the near future i'm, I'm sure um but yeah i'm i'm feeling great it's all going well um, yeah, definitely met some really, really great women and really discovering a lot about myself throughout this entire process. So right now, I gotta get myself ready. I'm gonna go out, get some Thai food for dinner. <laughs> Love you, Chiefy Duck. Just got home from dinner. It was really freaking good. It started off with an appetizer. It was a uh, wonton um, shell, wonton noodles with um, uh, cream cheese filled in the side. Had a little bit of a kick to it. And dinner, I had their, their house um, like noodles, it had pork in it, chicken and shrimp and veggies. Really, really freaking good. 
cheapest, <laughs> cheapest crappiest. So this is a big difference from a normal night for Chiefy Dog. So it's just about eight o'clock right now. Um, normally we get out for our, our walk after dinner, seven o'clock, 7.30 I start my, uh, usually seven o'clock I start my wind down routine of some self massage, some like foam rolling. Um, and then by 7.30 I'm reading my, my book for a little bit. And when I'm reading my book, you've probably seen him the past couple of Jacked After 40 Blake videos, the vlogs here. He's back on the, the couch behind me sleeping, like basically right out of it around that 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock time. But because I just got in the house right now um, and he hasn't seen me in a few hours, he's just all, all excited, all wound up here. <laughs> but uh, it won't be long. I'll just, I'll give him a little bit of love in here. Um, definitely going to, it won't, it won't be long. I'm tired. I need to wind down, but I, I do need to give my cheapy dog some love. Um, back to reading and, um, and then med meditation audio and, uh, call it a, a night. Definitely, um, feeling tired. Definitely, uh, again, the daylight savings time has me in the solid. It's been another solid week of in bed, um, like 8 30, 9 o'clock. I uh, usually passed out shortly after nine o'clock and then up um, up around 5 a.m. automatic for me. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been good. I've been loving that routine. It's been feeling great. Um, getting getting into a groove. It's been an amazing week of writing my book, Jacked After 40 book that uh, will be in physical format. Hold in your hands. I love a tangible copy of a book. So really looking forward to getting that edited um, So it's been really great to refocus on that just so many good things lining up and happening right now um, I couldn't be more excited um, Big strong visions for for the future for sure of the jacked after 40 brand um, and Sharing the experience lots lots of great opportunities to share this experience with you um, <laughs> He's freaking <here. laughs> You go, Chiefy Dog. He doesn't want to hear any more about it. He just wants my attention. So I'm going to get to him. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, do him a favor and share it with him. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, do so now and smash that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. Before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Hope you have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.